Part number is WH50 through WH400 represent our full line of watertight hubs ranging from half inch up and through four inch threaded rigid conduit. The way that these watertight hubs are installed is quite simple. There is a threaded aperture on the watertight fitting that matches the threads on the rigid conduit. Simply align the front of the fitting with the threads on the rigid conduit and tighten until it's securely on the conduit. Using a pair of pliers or channel locks, you can grab the flats and tighten it very secure. Once that's in place, simply remove the die cast oversized lock nut, but be sure that the rubber O-ring that creates the watertight seal remains on the body of the fitting that is attached to the pipe. At this point, regardless of size, whether it's half inch, three quarter, one inch, one and a quarter, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, or four, you take your pipe and your fitting combo and align it with the hole. Once you place it on the hole, it's important now to make sure that you get the lock nut secured on the inside of the box. By tightening the lock nut on the inside of the box, the body will come together and of course you want to use channel locks or pliers, but for purposes of this video I'll use my hands. The rubber washer creates a watertight seal on the outside of the conduit, and the conduit, which has a tapered thread, creates a watertight seal into the connector. And you've completed a perfect watertight fitting on a standard electrical box. These may also be used with weather tight boxes, but you don't need the inner lock nut because the holes on a weatherproof box are already threaded. So you simply tighten it in and ensure that that rubber, ensure that the rubber sealing o-ring remains in place on the body of the fitting. For these and other great products, be sure to visit us online at garvinindustries.com.